What is up guys? It's me, your girl V, and uh, I have a little bit of explaining to do. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen the title of this video, and I kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of a life update because I actually have not posted anything on this channel for over a month. It's actually probably been the longest time I have ever not posted on this YouTube channel since I started this YouTube channel. So I kind of felt like I had to explain or give like an, a life update before I go in and start posting videos again. So as you can tell by the title, um, I did gain over 30 pounds. Um, I want to say that in no way, shape, or form am I saying that gaining weight is bad because there's always going to be somebody out here who's going to take what I'm saying and mix it up and yeah, so, and I'm not bashing anyone who's been gaining weight, none of that. I just kind of want to explain to people who have been noticing that I've been gaining weight and also people who have checked up on me on Instagram, on Twitter, on Snapchat, on all my other social media, I do want to say thank you to everyone who has sent me a DM or you know whatever has hit me up to ask me if I'm okay, <laughs> that telling me that they missed the videos and all that stuff. I do want to say thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for checking in on me. It does mean a lot. So yeah, this is going to be one of those long explanation life update videos. So grab a snack grab your favorite drink, whatever, because I'm pretty much going to go off and talk to you guys about what happened um, and what's going to be happening in the future, I guess. Okay, so if you haven't noticed, um, I started off my channel, I want to say at like 145, 150 pounds, probably like in the middle, I would like fluctuate up and down. And I've talked about like my fitness journey and weight gain uh, previously in my fitness journey video. So if you guys want to check that out, you know, you can watch, I don't know, I'll put up a little card. But I've always been the type of person who has fluctuated with weight gain because, I mean, I don't know, I just, it's just, it, it just happens. Um, I, I fall off, uh, off my fitness grind, I don't know, like fall out of love with the gym which is pretty much what happened this time. So basically, if you guys are not aware or were not aware, I actually started this YouTube channel and I work a full-time job on top of doing this YouTube channel that is solely like based off of because I love creating content for you guys and I love YouTube in general. And then I also just randomly started graduate school. If you are not following me on Instagram, you wouldn't have known that I actually just recently graduated with my master's in higher education administration. So I'm done with that. So <laughs> I'm really happy that that is now over with. And uh, yeah, I don't have to deal with that anymore because uh, that was intense. Yeah, so trying to juggle a full-time job with uh, full-time graduate school because for a year I was going to grad school full-time and taking a full course load and also trying to make videos, create content, edit the videos because if, if you guys don't know I do all of this by myself. I produce the videos, I come up with the ideas, I do absolutely everything on my YouTube channel by myself. I even take my own damn photos sometimes but then I also have help. Trying to juggle all of those things I thought because I'm a very organized person that I would be able to handle it. But little did I know, uh, it was a little bit too much for me to handle. And then just shit happened, life happened. I actually was in a car accident uh, where I was actually struck by a vehicle in January. Was it? I can't even remember what year that was. I think it was this year, this past year. Of January this past year and uh, yes, I was literally in the crosswalk and the car struck me. Luckily, thank God, it wasn't severe, like I didn't have like super broken bones or nothing crazy. But I did have to go to physical therapy for a while and I was out of the gym for a few months. I pretty much was on a, a grind and I was doing so well and I was, you know, consistently going to the gym and then I got into that car accident which led me to fall off my gym grind and kind of I don't know like I've, I've definitely one of those people who em emotionally eats food I'm definitely an emotional eater uh, when I'm stressed I resort to food 
um, when, not when I'm sad, when I'm sad I just don't want to eat, but when I'm upset, when I am lazy, bored, whatever, I basically resort into eating junk food, comfort food, and yeah, it's not good. Um, it's probably something I probably need to go and deal with because I've noticed that that's pretty much what I do. Anytime like I am stressed or have like a high emotion of some sort, I resort to food to try to compensate or to try to help me get over that. Um, so that's something I have noticed. So that was the first thing that happened on top of grad school, on top of full-time work. I was juggling all of those things and it was a little bit too much for me to handle. Being out of the gym for so long really kind of derailed me from I don't know the gym grind I don't even know what to call it but I pretty much felt like when I went back to the gym I had lost a lot of my strength I had lost kind of the urge and the willpower to be in there it was starting I was starting to have a really bad negative relationship with the gym where when I didn't have perfect conditions at the gym like if there were too many people or whatever I just got this kind of anxiety where I was just like F this I don't want to be here I don't feel good I don't and I would just leave I literally would be in the middle of my workouts and I would just be like F it and I would leave so that's kind of the stuff I've been juggling with um then with grad school and working full time I didn't have any, any, absolutely any time to make my own meals and I'm not a person who does meal prep. I can't stand three day old chicken and, and yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't like microwave food too much. It's all right. I definitely, I guess I'm spoiled in that piece where I like to cook my meals and eat it that same day because I feel like it tastes the best. I don't know that's just me I know that's stupid so anyways I didn't meal prep any of my food I, I literally would start off my day um, in the very very morning and then go to school in the evenings and be in class for two to three hours I would literally get home at like 9 9 30 at night and by that time nothing healthy is open that late so what do you resort to Burger King Wendy's McDonald's etc Domino's Pizza Hut it's unfortunate but that's what it is and I know there are healthier options at those places but at nine o'clock at night them salads are not fresh okay and you know that right now they taste like crap and then later on I first got into that accident um, the car accident in the earlier of that year and then later on in that year like in June of I want to say June of last year it was June of last year I actually was walking down my stairs and I sprained my freaking ankle pretty much I don't know my accident prone but yeah so I sprained my ankle and then I was out of the gym again for a few well, I want to say like three to four months because that actually was pretty severe when you do deadlifts and squats and all that stuff your feet your base is very very important and mine wasn't stable yeah I had to go to physical therapy for that and had to deal with that so pretty much I had a lot of accidents in in those few years and uh, on top of grad school on top of working full-time and on top of doing this YouTube stuff which is I'm telling you is a job in itself editing producing all of this stuff is, is very very intense for people who don't do it yeah I thought I could handle it um, but apparently I couldn't so which caused me to just kind of weigh out my time um, instead of going to the gym and wanting to commute over an hour to half an hour to the gym to then work out for an hour to two hours and then have to commute back home for another half an hour to an hour I just felt like my time wasn't being utilized well in the gym or I just felt like I just I don't know I just felt like I had to give up the gym in order to maintain my schoolwork, in order to maintain my job, in order to uh, maintain the YouTube channel going. I had to give up the gym in order to find that time. And I know that's probably going to seem like an excuse to a lot of people. And I know some people are going to be like, oh, you don't know how to time manage. I probably don't. You're absolutely right about that. And I'm not trying to make excuses for the fact that I did gain weight. Now, I do want to say that the 30 pound weight gain, I don't think it's all bad weight. Like, I don't think it's all fat or anything like that. I do think that a portion of that weight is probably also muscle because during these few years, I have been trying to um, gain strength and gain more muscle. So I do think maybe a fraction of that is also like muscle but I do believe that the majority of that is just because I've been eating like shit 
So, um, with that being said, I do want to try to get my shit together. Now, I honestly don't care too much about the scale. I don't care of the fact that I'm over 170 pounds, close to 180 pounds. But when it comes to my height, I'm only 5'5". Five five. I'm 27 years old and I get winded going up one flight of stairs like that to me isn't normal and that's the part where I'm trying to get my shit together I could care less if I was 180 pounds at my height and I could sprint upstairs like no problem like that that's the weight isn't necessarily the issue it's the fact that I feel like it's probably affecting my heart health at this point because I'm constantly fatigued, I'm constantly tired, I can't even go up a flight of stairs anymore, I can't lift as much weight without getting fatigued in the middle of a few reps, and I literally have to take take breaks in between high reps in order to finish them because I'm so fatigued, because I'm so tired, because I'm so gassed out. And that to me isn't normal, and that to me isn't healthy weight gain either. So, with that being said, I do want to say thank you to everyone who has stuck around, who continues to watch the content, who still believes in this channel. I know it's probably a month is maybe not a lot of time for some people, but it is a lot of time for me considering I was so used to posting like weekly to maybe two to three times a week. And um, just emotionally and physically, I just haven't been mentally here. So I'm hoping that now that grad school is over and I have my life back, I can focus that energy that I had for grad school to my YouTube channel again because this is what I love to do. Um, I love the community that I've built here, the fact that there are strangers who are literally checking in on me and making sure that I'm okay, telling me that they missed the videos and the content, that means a lot because I didn't think that anyone would actually care that I was gone. Um, so, um, so yeah, so pretty much uh, from here on out, I will be posting more consistently. You'll be seeing a lot more videos. I've had videos that have been sitting in my memory card for a few months now, and I just haven't felt like editing them. Um, but now I do feel like, okay, there's no more excuses anymore. This is the year of getting my shit together. If you guys want to follow me along on losing this extra 30 pounds, I don't know where the... I don't know where the hell it came from, what the hell am I talking about? <laughs> I don't know if I should start like a series, like getting my shit together series, lose 30 pounds, or I don't know, but anyways, let me know in the comment section down below. I want you guys to understand that I didn't want to go MIA for like longer and then show up looking all snatched. I feel like that's just so fake and not realistic because I know there's people out there that are going through the same thing I am that are literally probably in the same shoes same position i am or were and are trying to get their shit together too this is all about my health and well-being i could care less if i was 200 pounds or 140 pounds or 130 pounds but to me it's about my health about my heart um cholesterol all that diabetes and trying to make sure that i am the healthiest i can possibly be so i hope this explains a few things so yeah if you guys have any questions comments whatever leave them in the comment section down below also want to know if you guys have any video ideas i have been listening to you guys i will be bringing the apple cider vinegar 30 day update the th the 100 squats a day 30 day update I've had to restart those a few times. Okay, don't hate me. They're a lot harder than they seem. Consistency is not one of my strongest suits. So yeah, so I will be bringing those out. Stay tuned for those. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Snapchat so you guys can actually see what the hell I'm doing and, and be like, and, and hit me up and be like, me, get your shit together. And yeah, so thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody who is stuck around, who is still continuing to support the channel. I do have a few things that are gonna be happening. I'm in the works of possibly coming out with some merchandise for you guys because there's like this new YouTube Teespring kind of collab which is pretty cool so uh, I want to know like if you guys want shirts hoodies uh, crop tops like whatever the heck pop sockets I don't freaking know but let me know what you guys would like and kind of colors maybe like what kind of color shirt you guys would like um what, what kind of stuff like do you guys want to say something cool or something I don't know let me know give me some ideas of what you guys would like to see on a shirt or a hoodie 
down in the comment section i also am thinking when youtube rolls out the membership thing on my channel that i can set that up i would love to do like live streams with you guys and check in with members like we can keep each other accountable so there's gonna be some new stuff coming out on this channel just stay tuned and uh yeah i will see you guys in the next one peace